Every Olympic cycle brings out the best athletes in the world as they make their journey to this huge competition. Without exception, the Olympic Games is the single greatest moment the track and field athletes have, and winning the gold in these games completely cements your name in history. It has been a very interesting past couple of seasons, as the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, and the previous two World Championships have been shifted and moved into place to compensate for a very complicated global pandemic. But thankfully, 2024 is currently on track to meet realistic and normal expectations, meaning that fans should be in the stands cheering for their favorite athletes. This Olympic year is currently building into one of the most exciting track campaigns over the previous decade, with rivalries and world record performances guiding the way to Paris, France. However, one name that continues to pop up comes from the Netherlands, and this athlete is doing something that has never been done in the history of the 400 meters. In 2023, we saw Femke Bol run a new world record in the Indoor 400, dethroning the single longest standing world record in track and field history. Now, this previous world record in the women's indoor four went all the way back to March 7th of 1982, and with a time of 49.26 seconds, Bull set a new world record that many thought would never fall, and this took down a record that had stood for 41 years, so this was quite the historic moment. With amazing speed and incredible poise, Bull really was setting an amazing standard for the indoor 400, and while this record was certainly impressive, she just set yet another world record in this event. On February 18th, Bull towed the line at the Indoor Dutch National Championships in Apeldoorn, Netherlands. And just like she has done over the past few seasons, she made this sub-50 second clocking look remarkably easy. After the opening 100 meters, Bo was on track to run a fast time, and she was also looking so easy and so smooth, and following close behind was her own teammate Leaky Claver, who was looking to break 50 seconds for the very first time in the indoor 400 meters. As the opening lap approached, both Claver and Bull moved into the inside lane, and it is just remarkable to see how relaxed Bull was here as she was on track to break a world record. And over the opening 200 meters, she split a time of around 23.5, meaning that she was certainly on world record pace. At this point, she was in perfect position to break her world record, and over the final 200 meters, she maintained a beautiful stride, and it was also great to see Leaky Claver staying so close, but ultimately, with supreme focus and world-class strength that really cannot be matched, Bull kept her focus all the way to the finish and set yet another world record in 49.24 seconds, breaking her own world record by two one-hundredths of a second. Now, finishing very close behind was Leaky Claver, who finished just outside of 50 seconds, with a time of 50.10. However, this time is fast enough to land her in the top 10 all-time for indoor 400 running, and she's now ranked 9th on the indoor 400 meter list. When it comes to dominance in this event, Bull is quickly emerging as an unparalleled 400 meter runner. Out of the top 12 indoor performances ever achieved on the women's side, Bull owns six of these performances, as she's broken 50 seconds on six separate occasions, which is more than anyone else to ever compete in this discipline, and she also now owns the two fastest times in history. In 2023, we saw Bowl emerge to new levels with an amazing undefeated indoor season, and this was also followed by another dominant campaign for the outdoor 400 and 400 meter hurdles, where she again went completely undefeated. This kind of dominance led to various meeting records and huge Diamond League races, and also a completely unmatched world championship in the 400 hurdles. But this year, the Olympic year, Bowl is looking even faster, because in addition to breaking her own world record and looking supremely relaxed, she's also run under 50 seconds three times in this season already, and she's only raced on four occasions. However, looking back to 2023, she was able to break 50 seconds three times as well. However, she did race a total of seven times in the indoor 400 meters. With more consistency, faster times, and even more dominance, Bowl is setting herself up to have quite the 2024. But there are still a few big questions that people are asking, with one key uncertainty leaving many desperately waiting for the big showdown. 
Since 2021, there have been very few athletes that have reached the true level of supremacy that Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni has reached in the 400 hurdles. In just two seasons, she broke the 400 hurdles world record on four separate occasions, proving her untouchable status in this event. It was a little strange, but certainly interesting to see Lavroni shift her focus to the 400 in 2023. And this was really a big shift because she was untouchable in her hurdling event. However, for 2024, it's certainly a possibility that McLaughlin will be looking to run in the 400 hurdles and the open 400, which means Femke Bowl will very likely be racing her American rival in the Olympic Games this season. Now, we have talked about this showdown multiple times, and it is very interesting to see just how crazy things get when they do meet. Now, they've only raced two times in their career, showcasing a very rare moment in the 400 hurdles. However, every time they clash, fireworks and world records are almost guaranteed. In 2021, in the Tokyo Olympic Finals, they met for the very first time in the 400 hurdles, and in this very race, McLaughlin set the world record in the Olympic Games, while Bull ran the third fastest time in history at 52.03. This was a huge moment. In fact, it was so huge that many considered this to be the key race of the Tokyo Games. And then, well, 2022 happened, where Bull and McLaughlin again clashed in the World Championships, but McLaughlin went absolutely crazy in this final. In this finals race in Eugene, Oregon, McLaughlin was just otherworldly, and with a show-stopping performance of 50.68 seconds, she took down Femke Bowl by almost a second and a half, which showcases one of the biggest wins of her career, and also one of the biggest world records to this day. Seeing McLaughlin's historic seasons in 2021 and 2022 gives you an idea at just how untouchable she truly was. However, as the years progress, the landscapes of races continue to shift, which now brings us to 2024. In almost every conceivable way, Bowl's personal records across her events have been improving since 2020. In the 200 meters, she's improved down from 23.4 to a speedy clocking of 22.64 seconds. In the 400 meters, she's now improved from 51.13 seconds down to this new incredible 49.26. And in the 400 meter hurdles, she has also showcased overall improvements, dropping more than two seconds over the previous four years, from a time of 53.79 down to her incredible 51.45 second clocking. It has been difficult to imagine anyone beating or even challenging Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni in the 400 meter hurdles. Her reign as the greatest ever in this event really has been that dominant. But 2024 is emerging as yet another strong year for Femke Bowl. And now with yet another world record to her name and even more compelling performances in the 400 meters, perhaps this is the year where she can truly challenge her United States rival. Just like 2023, her 2024 indoor season is currently folded as an undefeated campaign, as she's raced a total of five times and won on five separate occasions. And it's also noteworthy to mention that in these five races, she has broken two of her national records. In addition to her national record running, Bull currently holds world records in three events, including the indoor 400 meters, the indoor 500 meters, and the outdoor 300 meter hurdles, which technically is labeled as a world's best, but we're gonna call it a world record because that sounds objectively better. With all the momentum in the world and a continued untouchable status. I want to hear from all of you on what you think will happen with Femke Bowl in 2024. Do you think she's destined to challenge Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni in the 400 hurdles? Do you think she's destined to take down her American rival? And do you think she has any more world records in her arsenal this season, whether it be the indoor season or potentially the outdoor campaign? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.